is up everybody today we are back on minecraft and yes today is yet another wonderful friday but even more wonderful than that is the fact that we have actually gotten yet another screenshot from 4j studio showing us all of the cool new things that we will be seeing in what i'm just going to be saying is to you 19 or the next big update for minecraft on the console now you can see here just very generally in the very far zoomed out shot here you can see there are four or i guess five technically different screens with all of the different console versions on them right one of them's got the xbox Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, and PS Vita obviously is that little guy over there on the right hand side. Now each of these screenshots showcases some pretty cool stuff and there is a lot of stuff to cover. So to waste as little of your time as I can, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're just going to kind of work through each screenshot and see uh, what kind of new stuff we can see in each one. So starting in the upper left hand corner, if we go ahead and we zoom in up there, we can see that actually the main thing here that we can see is the fireworks crafting interface, which appears to be a man manual crafting type of system, right? So if we go ahead and we zoom in, I know it's really, really hard to see because 4G Studios is notorious for taking some kind of crappy pictures, which I do apologize for. Um, this isn't what I've done. I haven't done anything to these pictures. This is exactly how they are. Um, but you can see here that it appears that there is some kind of manual crafting going on here and that led a lot of people to believe that maybe we were going to be seeing manual crafting on Minecraft for the console in TU19 and so somebody actually went ahead and asked could you guys explain how manual crafting will work with people who don't remember how to craft certain things is it optional and 4G Studio says that this is just the UI or the interface that they will be using for fireworks and they went ahead and posted another photo here which is more, much more clear and much more uh, easy to see and you can see that they have actually implemented in a, uh, a certain manual crafting feature only for fireworks primarily I would assume because there are just so many different ways to craft fireworks you know how big the explosion is what what color the explosion is what the explosion shape is and so they had to implement in this new manual crafting system in order to um, obviously be able to create those various different types of fireworks now that is super super cool because I think that maybe since they've already kind of they're taking baby steps towards manual manual crafting and I think that that might be something that we see in the future I might make another video on that later in the future uh, if you guys want to see that feel free to let me know but moving on from that if we go over towards the right we can see the next TV screen and here we can see a beacon interface now here obviously if you guys know how anything about how beacons work and if you don't I actually have a video linked down in the description that I did in the past explaining all of the things that beacons do and I don't want to talk about that too much in this video because I don't want to make it any longer than it has to be but essentially here you can see the beacon interface where you can see all of the different power-ups and abilities you can get from using and interacting with a beacon and over there on the right hand side there is a wither skeleton now I think there was one in the in the left screen as well that I forgot to mention yes there was um, but there is one in this right one as well and there are wither skeletons and I think almost every screenshot on this one uh, but regardless you can see him over there on the right hand side and obviously like I said the beacon interface up there on top uh, link down in the description to a video if you guys don't know how that works and if we look down in the hot bar we can see some very kind of hard to distinguish uh, blocks and items down in there it looks like maybe over on the far left we have ourselves a coal block um, not sure what that thing is there to its right maybe a flint and steel uh, a hopper maybe a gold block maybe a beacon there to the right of it um, and then yeah it's kind of hard to see what that other stuff is I don't think that those are new blocks though um, those only just look like things that we already have like that one looks like nether rack and maybe a, a nether post um, but so nothing too special there on those like I said it is hard to distinguish the photo wasn't the greatest in the world so uh, you know we got to work with what we got so moving on from that down to the PS Vita there we can see um, that the screen is obviously smaller than the other ones because haha <laughs> it's a PS Vita um, <laughs> but you can see in that picture I can't really make out anything too special obviously it looks like there is a kind of a, a very blurred shape of a wither skeleton there but other than that I can't see or make out anything special in that screenshot below that in the bottom right hand corner you can see that we have yet another Another interface for what appears to be maybe a horse or a mule it's really hard to make out what that is but uh, either way you can see that it is a horse and a mule and you can see it is in the nether so that's the uh, that's the important thing to note here is that horses and uh, certain animals can be taken into the nether even though uh, you know some other things obviously can't and so if you guys have your horse and you're absolutely unpartable you can now bring him into the nether with you again down in the hot bar there are some items that are incredibly hard to make out it looks like one of them might be a daylight sensor but outside of that I'm really having a tough time distinguishing what that other stuff is it looks like there might be a TNT minecart there um, and some of that other stuff like I said is really really hard to tell what exactly that is just because of you know how large the overall screenshot is and how much zooming in we have to do to, to be able to see the stuff now moving on to the final screenshot on the left hand side here 
we can see that obviously there is some more uh, wither skeletons over there on the right hand side. Nothing majorly special there. And there is some stuff down in the hot bar. Again, there looks like there's a hopper and uh, and maybe some other items. I'm not entirely sure what that is in the upper left hand corner of the inventory. Um, oh, oh I, I'm sorry. I forgot to note. This is the hopper inventory screen here that we're looking at. The hopper interface. Um, obviously up there on the top you can see the hopper items that it's about to drop down into the, uh, into the chest or whatever it's above here. And uh, so this is the hopper inventory screen or the hopper interface screen which I probably should have mentioned off the bat but down in the bottom hot bar of the of the character actually it's hard to tell what exactly those items are like I said I have no idea it looks like there is a hopper in one of those spots uh, I'm not entirely sure what that red thing is like I said it's just so pixelated it's incredibly hard to tell what it is exactly we're looking at there but uh, that really primarily does it for uh, for all of the screenshot and all of the things that I saw in it if there was anything in the screenshot that you guys saw and I missed please 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 do drop that down in the comment section I'll be sure to read through those and if it's anything super important I will be sure to make another video on it and if you guys enjoyed this video please do drop me a like down below and subscribe for some more Minecraft console content in the future because I will be your number one source for everything on the console and I just want to go ahead and say that I think that this might be one of the final screenshots that we are seeing from 4J Studios primarily because now we can see TU19 or TU20 whatever you're still calling it the next big update on Minecraft for the console we can see it on every single screen here and I I'm sorry you can see it on every different console here and I think that they're showing us that they have made incredible progress on this update and that we may be seeing it incredibly soon now I will be making a release date prediction video here pretty quick but let me know also down in the comments section when you guys think we're gonna be seeing this update and uh, I will be sure to maybe incorporate some of your guys's thoughts in on my prediction video because you guys typically have just as good of ideas as I do and I want to go ahead and make sure I supply those in the video so anyway with that said I think that's about it for me I really do appreciate you guys watching and I will see all of you guys